episode. Hello and welcome to the Robotic Idiotic Cadventure mini-series I'm doing. This is episode 3. We've already looked at 2D shapes, we've looked at 3D shapes, and now we're going to model the weapon on the robot, which is of course a bleeper. Nothing too fancy. This is this is where it starts getting difficult. Or difficult for me anyway. Now what I want to make is a slot that the flipper sits in. And to do that I need to take a basically cut down through the middle here. So I want to select that one, sketch. Uh, here we go. So we want that one. Uh, it locks onto that corner, that's quite nice. To there. That should be on that plane. I don't know how it should be. There we go. Ah, nice. I want to take away that top bit and into that wedge there. Extrude it down. Extrude that. Oh, you can you can choose edges, can't you? One side. Down to there. Yes! Yes, that is exactly what I want. Oh, no. No, that is not exactly what I want because it's taken away the back edge as well. You can type it in. So, 249, which is the length. And you can see just on that bottom edge, it's not just reaching to the end. And 105.62. And now we can try to take it down yet again. And we will extrude. I can select that edge and it will take it down and then I press enter and there we go one perfectly formed outer shell exactly how I wanted it I'm surprised I really worked actually god this is good and then we can add in the chassis and you see how that works all together now you just about see it it's very faint in there nice work fusion 360 you're doing a good job here and now I have to model in the flipper I need to choose my flipper component and turn that into my active one. Again, it has ghosted out everything else and you can kind of see how it all, all goes together now. And what I basically want to do is model this edge here. We will see how it goes. So if I can zoom in, I might actually be able to use that dimension there. So. We need to start off with a sketch. We're going to draw on this plane here, so it should actually bring it up straight away. There we go, and then it goes into that right hand side. So I kind of want it to fit into the shell. Uh, what I could do, I could model this bit here and that angle. There's probably an easy way of doing this, but because I'm a complete noob and I've literally picked this up this week, I'm going to do the way that I did it yesterday. Because it's a flipper, uh, my plan is to make it a little bit thicker than what I actually need. So I, to do that, I'm actually going to make it two mil rather than rather or three, maybe three. Should we try three? Let's see if the, let's have a bit of an experiment. Let's see if I can do it from the top. What I need to do is turn this into a plane, don't I? I need to have another plane is it offset plane on that one there we go and there we go that is a new plane that i can draw on and now i can select that plane and sketch on that because if there's anything that i've learned you can sketch on either planes or faces and i thought faces would have been enough but it's not you know so i think i'm actually now drawing on this plane rather than one on the essentially on the chassis so there we go and then what I can do is because that is now a object in space stop sketch and then I can extrude minus three there we go and that is one top of the flipper and it's actually flush which is quite nice I quite like that and we want let, let's try and let's turn this into a plane as well then that's so we can draw on that let's see if I can offset plane at an angle oh maybe that would be uh, 
Uh, that's kind of what we want. Then we can change that. Ah, actually, you've got a damn good point there. We don't need to do that. Cancel that. We can use this part as the planar angle. How can we do that? Let's go from the right side. We can actually line it up. Bit on the wonk, isn't it? That's uh, because it's using that line there, and we need it to use that one. So we'll undo that. This line. There we go. Is that the one we want? Is that the one that seems to be on the very top corner? Now we can. Oh, we got it. There we go. That is bang on. That tells me that it's actually 55 degrees. It's a 55 degree angle. Yeah, that is exactly what I wanted. And we can choose this plane which puts it into that view, which is nice. And we, again, do the rectangle from whereabouts, I think here. But it's kind of working. There we go. Stop sketch. Go to the home view. And we can extrude that. We want to extrude that downwards again. Three mil. I don't know if that's gonna, is that gonna work? Because there's a slightly bit of material there. I don't know. We're experimenting. We're playing around. So we want to go down again. Minus three. I did it anyway. So there we go. One finished weapon system. It looks good. It's starting to take shape. It's starting to look like that. It's getting there. It's very slowly getting there. And I'm very slowly losing my mind. So join me on episode four. You should be watching them in order. So the one after this, where we will start adding in little features to it. Like, um, I think we're going to do these bits here. These little wedgelets on the back. So, see me for that one. Episode 4.